Imagine a metal so dense, a coffee cup full would feel like lifting a bowling ball. That's osmium, the heavyweight champ of the periodic table. It's rare. It's stubborn. It literally got its name from its smell. Yeah, smell. Here's the wild origin story. In 1803, chemist Smithson Tennant was picking through the gritty leftovers after dissolving platinum ore. Hidden in the gunk, he found a new metal that formed a pungent oxide with a sharp, bleachy, nose-tingling odor. He named the element osmium from the Greek osmi, meaning smell. Not the vibe you expect from a shiny blue-gray metal, but here we are. Osmium is the densest, naturally occurring element, packing more mass into less space than anything else you'll hold in your hand. It's hard, brittle, and not easy to shape, like trying to sculpt a diamond with a spoon. So why do we care? Because when the job demands extreme durability and precision, osmium shows up. Phonograph needles in the 40s and 50s, but were replaced by sapphire and diamond. Fountain pen tips, tiny compass bearings, instrument pivots, electrical contacts that spark and arc, and then there's the chemistry flex. Osmium tetroxide is a superstar in laboratories. Dangerous, yes but incredibly useful. It locks onto double bonds. It lets chemists add two OH groups, a move called dihydroxylation. Biologists use it to stain cell membranes. They also harden membranes for electron microscopy, turning soft tissues into crisp, high contrast images at the nanoscale. Even today, when we need wear-proof parts in tiny mechanisms, think high-end scientific instruments, osmium alloys still earn their keep. But it's rare, trace amounts in platinum ores, a sprinkle in Earth's crust. That scarcity, the difficulty of working it, and the toxicity of its oxide keep osmium in the handle with care category. So coolest fact to drop at a party, osmium is the element that literally made scientists name it after a smell. Densest metal, legendary durability, a history born from a whiff. If you learned something new, tap like. Curious about more strange elements and science stories? Hit subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll bring the next one straight to your feed. Thanks for watching.